If the steel beam has a weight of 250 kilograms and the density of the steel is about 7.6 grams per cubic centimeter, what volume of steel makes up the beam? I notice right away the weight is given in kilograms, but the density of the steel is given in grams. So we need to convert from 250 kilograms to grams. So we have 250 kilograms. And I know that there are 1,000 grams in a kilogram. So what you can do is you can set up a little unit analysis, 250 kilograms times 1,000 grams per 1 kilogram. I'll just put that over 1. And then we can just multiply straight across. 250 times 1,000 is 250,000. And then 1 times 1 is 1, so it's just 250,000 over 1. And the units here, the kilograms, those simplify out because there's one in the numerator here, one in the denominator here and we're just simply left with the grams to one, so the unit here will be grams. That means that we have 250,000 grams of steel. Okay, so now we have the same units as the density measurement, so we can go ahead and calculate this. Our volume is going to be in centimeters cubed because centimeters cubed is the volume portion of the density units. And what we're going to do is we're going to do another unit analysis, 250,000 grams to 1. And then we want to get rid of the grams and have centimeters cubed. So how do we do that? Well, we have grams in the numerator here, so we need grams in the denominator here. And we need centimeters cubed in the numerator. So what about this 7.6? Well. 7.6 grams per cubic centimeter. That means we have 7.6 grams for one centimeter cubed. So that means the 7.6 goes in the denominator and the one centimeter goes in the numerator. So then what happens here is the grams simplify out and we have centimeters cubed in the numerator. That's gonna be the units for our answer. So it's going to be 250,000 cubic centimeters per 1 times 7.6 or 7.6. And remember, the grams already simplified out, so there are no units there. So what we need to do is divide 250,000 by 7.6, and that will give us our volume. Thirty-two thousand eight hundred ninety-four, or actually it rounds up to ninety-five. So thirty-two thousand eight hundred ninety-five. Okay, so that is the volume of steel that makes up this beam. Let's review the process. We did some unit analysis to convert the kilograms to grams. Then we did another unit analysis to figure out how to change from the mass to the volume using the density. And in this case, by aligning the units, we could tell we divided 250,000 grams by 7.6 grams per cubic centimeter. And then we ended up with our final solution of 32,895 centimeters cubed or cubic centimeters.